Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is about tips for class 10. First tip, how to read NCRT. Firstly, watch YouTube lectures and then start reading NCRT. Now you have idea about whatever is there in the NCRT and you can understand it better. Practice untuck questions and exercises questions in science and practice exercises questions and example questions in the math and practice uh, backside questions in the social. Overall, practice all of the questions in the textbook in all of the subjects. Third tip is reference material. To be honest, I didn't use any of the reference book. I recommend you to practice questions from Google as you get a lot of questions from many of the website and, and I did the same. Fourthly, revise all of the chapters in the textbook so that you do not forget in the exam. Make sure you revise the notes that you made alongside the textbook. Mainly biology has a lot of things to memorize. Lastly, practice previous year question papers so that you can check yourself how much you are prepared and if you are not able to solve few questions, do not be upset. This is revision you are learning and you will be able to do in the exams. Just be positive. Additionally, I wanted to say some more things. As you have two board exams, do not keep in mind that there are two board exams and just focus it as one attempt so that you are not lazy and think there is another attempt. Remember that board people have given two board exams so that you reduce your stress. In maths, at first, solve questions until answer without time limit. Further, keep time limit and start solving so that you are able to manage time in exams. I would give sample papers and question papers in the description and comments very soon so that you can uh, practice from that without uh, searching in Google and wasting time on the phone. Make sure you practice extra questions of new tabs so that you are familiar and exposed to new tabs if it appears in your exam. In 24-25 uh, board exam, we had new questions which was of new tabs and of little higher level as it is a 50% competency based. So I recommend you to do like that so that you don't feel difficulty in your exams, especially in maths. Make sure that you do not only memorize but also understand the concept with it so that you do not stuck with any of the questions in your exams. Do not neglect your language subjects as it is also an important part in calculating your percentage. I'm, I'm showing how to get question papers from the CBSE website and also marking scheme how they expect the answers to be and how the answers are corrected so that you do not have any of the confusions. In English, practice grammar questions and passage questions so that you are familiar with and you do not lose any of the marks in your exam. Make sure you start studying from first and be consistent. Consistency is very important and do not keep it uh, the syllabus until last of your exams. Or start reading from uh, last two months, three months. Do not buy any of the reference books until you are perfect with your textbooks. Make sure you repeat the chapters again and again. Let's meet in the next video. Till that, stay tuned. Thank you.